What really is biohacking and why should you care? Hi guys, Cherry and Carpen here, founder of White Life. And today let's take a quick dive into what biohacking is and how you can benefit from it. Biohacking is essentially the art of using science, biology and self-experimentation to take control of and upgrade your body, mind and life. Well, this is the definition that Dave Asprey, the father of biohacking, has given it. Essentially, biohacking takes the aid of certain practical tools such as breath work, meditation, maybe certain hacks and supplementation, certain food hacks, fasting, and so many other practical things that you can do to enhance your daily living. Do you wanna be more focused, have more concentration, have better memory maybe, maybe slow down your aging process, or have something specific in your life get improved? It can be anything. Biohacking can be used in any area of your life to improve it. Now, why biohacking? Let's take an example of sitting. Now, I know that a lot of us have to sit a long period of time because our work demands it, right? So what if you can do some small things that can reduce the stress that your back has to take? You see, when you sit for long periods of time, your lower back tends to get stressed a lot. And one of the main reasons for chronic back pain is because of excessive sitting. Now, what if you could do small stretches that could relieve it, right? So this would be a biohack for your back pain. Now, some biohackers will take smart drugs and nootropics to advance their brains and have more focus and all. Have you ever seen the movie called Limitless or maybe Lucy? Ring a bell, yeah? What would you do? All right, I must admit, I can't explain. Well, although the things in the movie is a bit too far-fetched, there are ways you can improve the activity of your brain. We'll get to that in the future videos. Here's an example of another biohack that you can use at any time. Let's say that you're tired or you're foggy or you've been looking at your computer screen for quite some time. Tired? Well, here's the hack for it. Have a cold water splash or better yet, have a cold water shower. Now, the thing is, the moment the cold water hits your face, you have a lot of blood rushing into your face and it's good for your skin, it keeps you alert and you get that sudden awake feeling. It's better than depending on another cup of coffee. So where can you apply the principles of biohacking? Let's take example number one, working out and losing weight. Now, there's this misnomer that it's all about the calories when it comes to losing weight. It's not. Sure, calories are vital, it's important, but that's not the only thing. Weight loss is highly hormonal. The way in which the body works is based on how the insulin, leptin, ghrelin, and all these hormones need to function in a balance in order for you to lose weight in a sustainable manner. There's a famous show in the US called The Biggest Loser. And when a lot of researchers tracked the people that lost a lot of weight on the show, they found that the majority of them put on all the weight they lost back after the show had ended. So this shows how calorie counting is very unsustainable. Now, calorie counting is a topic for another discussion, but through certain biohacks, such as optimizing your breath work, you can actually manipulate your metabolism. Also, there are certain drinks that you can make at your home with turmeric, ginger, and all these things. I'm pretty sure a lot of you must have read about these things. Some of them actually have scientific evidence to show that it can reduce inflammation, it can reduce your hunger cravings, and so forth. That's another biohack. Example number two, improving your nutrition. Let's face it, we all have this concept that the tastier the food, the unhealthier it's supposed to be. Although this is true in most cases, it's not ideal everywhere. That being said, what if I told you there are hacks in which you can actually reduce the amount of negative stuff that gets into your system. For instance, if you are consuming a food that's high in calories like a huge heavy pizza with a lot of soft drinks, consuming some inulin, which is a fiber, having some probiotics, and having an anti-inflammatory drink, which we provide at White Life, this can actually reduce the side effects of your heavy cheat meal. Now, this doesn't mean that this should be used all the time that you're gonna get away with a cheat meal. Of course not. You can never outrun a bad diet. So remember that. But this is a biohack which you can again use to cut down on the side effects from all these heavy meals. Example number three, your mindset. 
our mental well-being is probably the most important thing when it comes to health you see it's all about habits behaviors and everything which determines how much we succeed in life how much our health is optimal and so forth so if your mind is not in the right state well then it is difficult or challenging to have other things fall into place so it all begins with the mind active tools like meditation breath work visualization these are all indeed biohacks with which you can rewire your existing mindset so that you can rewire it in such a way in which you can attract and get more success and more out of your life there is also scientific evidence behind these things it talks about something called the reticular activating system in the brain which filters out important data which we think is relevant again a topic for another discussion but you can see how biohacking is vital even when it comes to your mind state and mental well-being example number 4 productivity in a world where it's all about time management and getting the maximum out of every day every entrepreneur or everybody working for that matter would understand the importance of time you can make money again you can do this and that all again but time once gone you're never going to get it back so productivity is something that's super important these days now what if i told you there are hacks to improve your productivity for example a small cup of green tea with some pranic breathing can get you into the zone keep you more focused and hence you can read a lot better learn a lot better and even retain those things for a much longer time similarly a tablespoon of coconut oil blended with some black coffee can give you much better energy than just a regular cup of coffee example number 5 sleep sleep is indeed one of the most important things when it comes to your overall health if you have bad sleep the next day it's not just your body that's going to be aching it's your mind too so we don't want that but even then it's difficult to have quality sleep when you have a lot of thoughts running in your head if you're trying to build a business or you have some work due or you have some exams coming up it affects our sleep as well there are biohacks with which you can sleep a lot better such as active breathing in which you calm yourself with a box breathing technique or a 478 breathing technique you can also use the scent of lavender to help you fall asleep and this is all scientifically shown to actually help you fall asleep a lot better so there you have it even for sleep you can use certain biohacks to help you sleep a little better now these are just a few aspects in which biohacking can help you improve the quality of your living and now last but not least i'm also going to talk to you about box breathing this is the active breath work technique which you can use at any time so in the box breathing what you essentially do is you breathe in for a count of 4 seconds 1 2 3 4 breathe in then you hold it for a count of 4 seconds you breathe out for a count of 4 seconds and you hold it out for a count of 4 seconds all right so let's just try it out yeah we breathe in for 4 seconds hold for 4 seconds breathe out for 4 seconds hold for 4 seconds so that's one box you can do this as many times as you like i recommend doing at least 10 times this will help you get calm focused and you'll be in much more control over your emotions So I hope now you understand how biohacking can be quite beneficial in your daily living. Stay informed, stay healthy guys. Share this with people so that we can bring the truth about health, nutrition and well-being to light. Knowledge is great, but active knowledge, which is when knowledge is used practically every day, is when you become powerful. See you in the next video guys. Bye.